Awesome. Thank you so much. So I think, um, yeah, as a, as I said, I'm a GD in Angular for the past three years. I've been in the software industry for uh, for about uh, nine years now. Uh, and I'm originally, or I'm, I'm more of a front-end focused full stack engineer. Um, right now working as a software architect uh, on some design systems, some UX challenges. And it's uh, really interesting for us to be able to be confident about our uh, our products whenever it comes to shipping to, I mean, we have, we have a lot of customers and we have hundreds and thousands of users using the products every day. So it's a, it's really interesting to share um, what we think is is essentially you know the way to go when we talk about confidence and robustness within the applications. So without further ado, I'm actually going to start sharing my screen and we are going to get into the talk right now. So let's do it. Awesome. So I hope everyone is able to see my screen. I'm going to quickly open the chat as well so I can see whenever someone types something uh, because I don't see everyone right now. But in any case, let's get started. And I hope you're seeing my slides. So just someone say, yes, we see it. And then we're good to go. Great. So this whole presentation is all about getting started with end-to-end -end testing using Cypress. And Cypress is an amazing tool. It is one of the few things that I have loved since the beginning of my career. I mean, I have had many things like jQuery. <laughs> um, after that, Angular. Uh, there, there have been multiple things that came into our world like Webpack, um, Module Federation. It's, there are a lot of things. Cypress is one of those things that I was really excited about, uh, especially when I started using it. And we're going to have a look into that pretty soon. If you want to reach out to me, you can just search the word code with SN and you will find me on almost every social platform. So feel free to connect. I usually reply within 24 hours. At least I try to. Great. So let's talk about what is Cypress. You might know some stuff about that already, but I'm going to try to at least share something new today. So Cypress is an open source test runner that you can use for testing your web applications, whether you're, whether you're testing your application locally or you're testing your application remotely. For example, if they're deployed, even that doesn't matter, you can directly run tests against a deployed application as well. Now, when we talk about Cypress, what um, it helps you with is it helps you setting up the test. So it gives you a complete framework for, or the tooling to set up those things because it kind of comes up with Chrome uh, or Chromium engine as a bundler that you can run the test on. It supports multiple browser and we are going to see them as well. But in general, it provides you the ease of configuration. As I said, you could run test, test across or against a local app also or on a deployed application, so it really depends. And then finally, it also gives you something to run the test and visualize those things. It also helps you with the recording test, which is amazing because <clears throat> imagine being a QA in a team um, and you see there are certain bugs coming up. All you need to do is that you need to now pick this recording against that failed test case and send it to your development team. And they should be able to see the video, what happened and get a good idea of what is happening there. So it really makes it easy for the videos as well as it has also some snapshots uh, testing or images that you can also share when running those tests. So it's really easy to configure as well. And finally, for the developers, absolutely loving this, the debugging part. It makes it so easy to debug the steps of your test that you can easily find out the issues in whatever step was failing. Imagine sending an API call, getting some results and trying to append that data into the UI you could actually see where things went wrong. You could see what API call was done, what was the data that came back, and now if anything was appended to the UI or not. We're going to see that in a bit. So what sets Cypress apart from the other test runners? First of all, it has really good support. Now this image is a bit older, as you can see, it shows Chrome 80. This one is a new one, but you can go to cypress.io and you can see that it essentially supports the major modern browsers that you can run the tests against for your products, essentially. It also supports Edge, as you can see, also Electron. Now, if you talk about the big or major features about Cypress, these would be the following ones. 
we have a time travel feature, which essentially um, builds in a way that when you run Cypress tests, along with running the test, Cypress also takes snapshots of your test as they go along. So you can always go back to them, as I said, and see how each step looked. So you can see those, you can click on those steps and also see further information in something that we call command log or the console. So it shows you what data was retrieved from the API or what happened when this particular step was done. We're going to look into it in a bit.